Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little story time video about something that recently happened to me. And I consider you guys my friends, so friends, look out for friends. And I wanted to share this with you, hoping that it doesn't happen to any of you guys out there. Hopefully you can learn from my experience. So yeah, grab a snack. I hope you enjoy today's really laid back, chill video. Maybe order some food or something. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that long, but still, it's just going to be super laid back. So. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started with the story. Okay, so I'm gonna actually pull out my phone because I want to get the dates right of this story of everything that happened and I'm really good with keeping up with dates. Okay, so on July 7th, which was a Friday, I started researching on YouTube on natural remedies for weight loss because who doesn't want to lose extra weight? I know that diet and exercise are like the two most important things and drinking lots of water and everything and I already know that stuff, but sometimes people like me get really lazy and we just want something quicker, something, you know, natural. So I found a video on YouTube that actually had a ton of views. It had like, I want to say it was like over a million, definitely like two million maybe, maybe even more than that, I forget. And I saw the video and since it got so many views, I was like, oh, this definitely has to be legit. Had a ton of comments, really great response. And the video was basically having to do with apple cider vinegar. And I've actually seen apple cider vinegar used for a lot of other natural remedies. I've seen like videos on Facebook and on YouTube and different ads for it. Like it's a big thing. So a lot of people use apple cider vinegar for different things but in this particular video it was for weight loss so the girl in the video is a super quick like two three minute video and she talked about this drink for weight loss she says you can lose 10 pounds in two weeks obviously that's like going to attract people it attracted me obviously to watching the video so the drink is super simple all you need is a glass of water squeeze a full lemon into the water and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And I even went out that same day and I bought this apple cider vinegar. This is the organic great value raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. She specifically said you need to get the one with the mother. This is what it looks like. This is how much that I drank off of the apple cider vinegar when I was taking it. So I was like, yeah, this is like super easy. I'm going to be losing weight. It's natural. Like why not? And I was reading the comments and people were saying you have to actually drink this drink through a straw because if you just drink it like straight like without a straw the apple cider vinegar since it's so acidic it can cause tooth decay I was like obviously I don't want that so my mom and I are really excited because my mom and I always try to find natural remedies for things so we're like yeah we're gonna lose weight like it's gonna be great we literally went to Walmart after watching this video we bought this apple cider vinegar we bought straws we bought a lemon squeezer and we bought lemons to do this drink I started the drink the same day just because it was so easy I was like why not I want to test this out it really didn't taste bad to me it had like a lemonade taste but it was a little bit bitter so I started drinking the drink on that Friday which was the 7th by the 9th which was a Sunday I started noticing that right before I was going to bed I was flossing my teeth my gums felt really really sensitive they almost felt as if they were bleeding but they weren't bleeding but they felt like they were like when I would go through with the floss and you know get in my teeth I was like why do they feel like that I didn't really think anything of it I was like oh maybe they're just sensitive today whatever so I kept drinking the drink that Sunday that Monday so Tuesday came along and at this point it is July 11th so only four days have passed since I started drinking this drink and I woke up and my body just was aching like it felt like I was getting sick but I didn't have any of the symptoms that I would normally have when I was sick I didn't have watery eyes sneezing runny nose I didn't have a cough which I thought was really weird because my throat was extremely sore like just swallowing my saliva it hurt so bad so I was like what is going on like I was a little freaked out at this point and then when I woke up that day I remember the roof of my mouth it felt I felt like I had a cut on it like you know when you ever eat a lollipop and you get like a little cut on the top of like your mouth and it hurts really bad or sometimes it burns like if you eat certain things or whatever but my entire roof of my mouth felt that way and I was like this is weird so of course the first thing that I did was start googling things which whenever you have symptoms of something don't google it because it'll literally tell you that you have like kidney failure when you really don't it'll kind of just like psych you out so just don't do what I do but that's what I did at the time because I was freaked out a little bit and it did say that the apple cider vinegar since it's so acidic and strong it can cause a sore throat so I was like okay this will pass it's not a big deal I'm just not gonna drink the drink for a few days so then that night I actually ended up getting a fever and I had chills I was like sweating and then I had chills again I was cold I was hot a really bad fever so obviously a fever is a sign of an infection so I was like a little nervous I was like am I getting an infection 
like in my mouth, like what is going on? I started Googling more things again, <laughs> not a good idea, but then it said that apple cider vinegar can cause, you know, all these different things because it's so acidic, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, all right, I'm done with that drink because I don't want to cause any permanent damage. So Wednesday came along at this point, mind you, it hasn't even been a week since I started taking this drink and my gums were super red. I thought that they were the reddest they can be, but they ended up getting worse, but we'll talk about that in a minute, but they were super red. Like my gums right now, they're just like pink. They're just like naturally really pink, but they were so red and I was like, why do they look like that? Like they looked inflamed, they looked irritated and they just didn't look normal, obviously. So I was kind of freaking out. I was talking to my mom about it and she was like, yeah, like my gums are hurting a little bit too. And I was like, what? And I looked at her gums. They looked completely normal, but she wasn't drinking the drink as much as I did. I forgot to mention that in the video, the girl says you're supposed to drink the video two to three times a day for it to be very effective, but she only did it once a day just because she wasn't a huge fan of the taste, but she said her gums were like a little sensitive as well. So I'm like, this is definitely from the apple cider vinegar because we both have really good dental hygiene. Like we take good care of our teeth. I will say that when I was younger, I didn't take good care of my teeth at all. And I definitely paid for the consequences as I got older, I got cavities and stuff like that. But now I am like really angry about my hygiene, dental hygiene, everything. Like I take very good care of myself. So I knew that this was happening because of this drink because it's the only thing that I've done that's been different. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just a reaction. It'll pass. If it doesn't pass by Monday of next week, I'll make an appointment to go to the doctor. And honestly, I wish looking back that I just would have went to the doctor right away because things ended up getting worse. I did however notice that when I was brushing my teeth I couldn't really do it too hard because my gums hurt really bad and my teeth started hurting so I was like okay let me just go easy with brushing. I brushed my teeth in the morning and at night so I had to be very gentle when I did it and I used a soft toothbrush so I thought that was really weird that I was still being sensitive towards my toothbrush because it's soft and I, oh, I always use soft toothbrushes. So once Friday came along my gums started bleeding. I was flossing, I was brushing my teeth and I was like what the heck like they're literally so painful literally blood is coming out like I would floss my tooth and I would literally put the floss like in between my two teeth and it would just start bleeding like so much blood and then as I was brushing I noticed blood all over my toothbrush and the sink and I was like this is so disgusting I can't believe this is happening to me but again I thought it was almost just like a reaction I thought it would pass over time but when I started seeing blood I did get a little bit nervous so I was like I'm definitely just gonna go to the dentist on Monday so as the weekend came by it honestly got worse and I didn't think it could get any worse at this point but it really did because I wasn't able to brush my teeth correctly so I had all this built up plaque on my teeth which honestly that's so disgusting to think about and it's really embarrassing I felt so low about myself because like your mouth is everything like when you talk to somebody your mouth is everything I didn't even want to go anywhere I did, couldn't film videos obviously because my mouth was literally so inflamed so red it was bleeding it was disgusting I had bad breath obviously because I couldn't brush my teeth correctly like even when I would go in very lightly with my toothbrush, I started bleeding. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, that Sunday I woke up. Mind you, it's only been a week since I started this drink at this point, so it is Sunday the 16th, and I started noticing that I had ulcers all on the outside of my mouth, on the inside of my mouth, and at this point, the roof of my mouth is still on fire. It literally feels like there's a cut all over it. My gums are bleeding, my teeth hurt, everything is just like so inflamed, so infected. I knew it was an infection because I wasn't able to brush my teeth consistently anymore. I wasn't able to floss and I couldn't even eat. So to make matters worse, I had ulcers in my mouth. I was bleeding. I had black, I had bad breath and I couldn't eat. So I was living off of vegetable broth and water because everything that I tried to eat, it literally hurt so bad. Like it was so painful because when you eat, obviously things are touching the roof of your mouth and the roof of my mouth was just like super inflamed and irritated and it just hurt so bad and even swallowing hurt. But I had to put something in my body because I literally felt like I was going to faint at this point because I wasn't really eating correctly and like I normally do. I wasn't really eating a lot of solid foods because it was so painful. Like even a piece of fruit hurt me. Like I was trying to eat watermelon and I was like, like struggling to eat pieces of watermelon and it still hurt really bad. Monday came along, I finally went to the dentist and of course she said, you definitely had a reaction to this drink and at this point there's a ton of inflammation, ulcers, basically things that I already knew but I just needed reassurance from her and obviously I needed medicine, antibiotics, all that to get rid of all this infection that I had. And she did say from all the built up plaque from not being able to brush correctly the past couple of days, that did lead to an infection. But the first thing that I asked her, I was like, is this permanent? Like, am I okay? Are things 
gonna get better did I permanently damage my teeth and she's like no but luckily you came when you did because the longer you do something obviously the longer effects it will have on your body so I'm just so grateful that I didn't permanently damage my teeth over the weekend I started googling more things and it did say that apple cider vinegar is like so bad for your teeth and your enamel it can cause permanent damage and my dentist actually ended up did telling me that because it's so acidic and then mixing it with a lemon and all that it's just awful it's like the worst combination you can do so I was like okay I'm obviously not gonna drink that anymore I was just so grateful that she kind of reassured me that everything was gonna be okay I got x-rays and I didn't do any permanent damage like underneath of my gums or anything which was great she ended up giving me two prescription mouthwashes that I was taking and then she gave me an antibiotic and I also got like a numbing cream for pain and then I got another cream for my ulcers as well because they were literally all over my mouth so I ended up going to the dentist on July 17th which was a Monday and honestly I wish I would have went that Wednesday when I started noticing that my gums were even getting red in the first place. I was all better within a week, but she definitely did tell me that you had a really bad reaction to this drink. Everything just looks completely burned inside your mouth, like like you literally burned it. And I told her about the apple cider vinegar and she said, yeah, you can't drink that with the lemon. It's just way too acidic. It's not healthy. And then she started talking to me about apple cider vinegar. Just because something maybe doesn't cause damage like it did to me, like on the outside, it could cause damage internally, which is why I wanted to share that with you guys because I've actually seen a lot of different people like social media influencers and youtubers sharing like on snapchat and like on instagram stories or on their what i eat in a day videos talking about apple cider vinegar and saying how they literally take a shot of it in the morning for breakfast for lunch for dinner and i just think that's honestly so crazy because obviously if we see somebody who has such a large following who has a good body whatever the case may be and we see them sharing something like this like oh take a shot of this and you'll have a flat stomach obviously we're gonna do it because we trust their word and we believe that it's gonna work but just because it works for them doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you so please just keep that in mind because that's what I thought I thought that I was gonna be able to lose 10 pounds in two weeks from this drink and obviously I didn't because it led to other damages and it was just awful it was one of the worst experiences of my life because I literally couldn't eat I was bleeding it was uncomfortable it was just awful so definitely do your research before putting anything into your body and just be mindful of what you're actually putting into your body and just be careful because honestly I wouldn't recommend apple cider vinegar to anybody I think it's one of the worst things that you can do if you are taking it currently I would stop because like I said earlier and like my dentist was saying just because something doesn't cause external damage to you it can cause internal damage that you might not even know about and maybe you won't even find out about it until years to come so just please be careful as for my mom she did have a little bit of sensitivity with her gums but hers ended up going away within a few days because she wasn't drinking as much of the apple cider vinegar drink as I was. I was taking two to three cups a day. She was only doing it once a day for like maybe three or four days. I mean, I knew my mouth was sensitive, but geez, I guess it was super, super sensitive. Honestly, I wish I would have took pictures to show you guys now, but I was just so embarrassed and I felt so low about myself at the time and I was kind of like just really down on myself for doing this. Like, I'm like, seriously, Jasmine, all of this just for weight loss. Like, it's so ridiculous. The best way to lose weight is to eat healthy, go to the gym, and drink lots of water. I know a lot of us aren't patient I'm not patient but it's honestly the best way to go and it's healthy and it works you just have to be consistent consistency is key so I hope you guys got something out of this video be careful what you're looking on the internet for because people nowadays do clickbait like crazy they want you to click their videos so they can get views and they can get money and sometimes things aren't even legit so just do your research be careful and if you ever have an issue going on with your body don't do what I do and don't wait till the last minute to do things don't let things get worse like just if you notice something different about your body get the care you need ASAP right away do not even wait a whole nother day just go to the doctor do what you got to do right away so I hope you guys did enjoy this video and just hanging out with me hearing me out with this crazy story that happened to me all for just trying to lose 10 pounds like it's crazy I can't even believe it looking back now it's kind of funny and kind of ridiculous but during the time I was like this is hell anyways that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you did watch the entire video please leave me any other crazy story time videos that you guys may have that you've been through anything I would love to hear from you down below in the comments. Comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in a few days in my next video. Bye